Yo, 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 what is good, guys? Um, Alright, so... Main mages. Our prayers have finally been answered. They are finally giving us new mages. Alright? They've been giving us cracked archers, crazy cavalry. Now we have new meta of infantry, but we're finally getting some freaking mages, guys. Um, so one of the, some of the things I want to talk about is like what kind of builds am I looking to run now? Now with the with the new mages, unfortunately that answer is not going to be definitive until the new mages are actually here, right? But we're gonna quickly talk about some things that you guys can do in the meantime, which you know, with some of you guys that I'm close to or in my or have been in an alliance with me or whatever i've been i've been telling you guys as far as like main mage order you want to make sure that you have your lilia and your valen six star now you're probably wondering okay i don't have them six star but i could get them six starred should i get them six starred now i would say hold off on on six starring lilia or valen right now if you don't have them there yet uh because the new mages could potentially just be absolutely cracked um, we don't really have any details on the new mages, whether they're going to be single target damage, it's going to be AoE, is it going to be like some kind of like def debuffing mage, I don't know, all we know is that we're getting a flyer, right? And you guys have heard me over and over again talk about, um, let's turn this audio here, it's kind of throwing, it's kind of throwing off my flow. Um, okay, so you guys have heard me talk about, um, Thea right why <sighs> so a lot of people sleep on Thea guys like she's not like a she's not like a highlight or so to say like she's not like your your Sindrions out there she's not a like your Kanaras your Lilias like the people like the the marches that you see a lot of out there right but here's the thing about her look how many kills I have with her 123 million pvp kills guys what is my Lilia? My Lilia's up there. Hey, Lilia's at 194 million kills. But yeah, so Thea, 123 million kills. So how can people possibly say that Thea is weak when I have 123 million PvP kills? And I know what some of you guys might be thinking, like, oh, you're T5. Like, bro, the amount of times T5s hear that, let me tell you, bro. Uh, yes, first of all. I'm not disagreeing. Yes, that make that plays a big deal. But but it's not just that, bro. It's just how you play. Um don't mind me right now. I switched to Spring Wardens. If you guys watched my my previous video, you'll you'll know why why I switched to Spring Wardens. But uh anyway, so essentially with Thea, guys, with Thea here, um like her bread and butter, Thea's bread and butter is the hit and move. It's the hit and move. So I'll, I'll definitely share with you guys my build that I have with her. Because um, it could... I mean, who knows, right? When the when the new Flyer Mage comes out, maybe Thea, maybe Thea is your, your primary still. I don't know. I mean, I would hope that the new Flyer is going to have a skill tree, right? Which would definitely make them uh, good for that. It could be... It could still be that the Thea build is good because of the speed build that I have on her. Um, uh, I'll show you guys the build that I have on her. So look at this, boom. This is the build that I have, right? And I'll explain why I went with each one, just real quick. Attack, speed, right? Because you want to. It's just a, it's just a, it's a quick hit and move march, right? Went with speed again. I know some people are like, oh, you should probably go with attack. Nah, bro. Speed again. Adrenaline rush. Your your legion deals four percent more normal attack damage, right? I went with that. I I've thought about. Now this might potentially change, right, with the new mage, because the new mage might be able to do some more hero skill damage, right? So, but could potentially go this way, maybe. Who knows, right? Uh, Guardian Angel definitely makes him stronger. I have to have thought about potentially going with Spirit of Response, um, but like I said, some more testing definitely needs to be done. But this is the build that I've been using, guys. Uh, this is one of the main ones, Unrelenting Fury. When your Legion gains a buff effect, they gain 15% rage, right? Dude, Thea's always buffing. She's always buffing, right? This is one of the biggest ones right here, guys. Emergency Triage. Reduce, uh, reduce severely wounded units and your Legion 10%. That one's huge, right? Thunder Fury. Um, 
I don't have to read to e through each one. You guys get it, right? I went with this one here, AC Retreat. It's something new that I'm trying this season, but uh, for the extra point, I put it up here, right? And I went and I went PvP also. So you, some of you guys are probably like, well, he didn't go support tree. No, I didn't, bro. And, you know, I have the stats on her to prove that this is a field tested and it works, right? It's field tested and it works. Um, obviously, I run Thea primary and I run Thea secondary, right? But anyways, to so that's so that's one of the th recommendations that I have, right? Make sure that you have if you're working on Thea. Like if you already have an awakened Lilia and Valen, start getting start getting your Thea up a little bit more, right? Because you want to make sure that she's good because she's gonna be the pair with the new one, guys. <sighs> the chances the chances of uh, Atheist being a better pair with the new one, I don't know what those chances are. I'll be honest, I don't know what those. Ch I think they're slim. Simply uh, because how how much better Thea is than Atheist, in my opinion. Hey, don't get me wrong. Atheist is an amazing commander, guys. He's an amazing commander for sure. Um, you know, you see, you can see the kills I have with him as well. 112 million PvP kills. So he's also being used a lot, even as an epic commander for me, right? Um, I think I've I think I've even used him more than Waldir, and I've used I've used Waldir a decent amount also. Oh, he's only 52. Yeah. So, some of you guys might be surprised. Like, what? He has Waldir as two? I know. I know. I know what some of you guys are thinking, right? But that that's what it is, guys. You know, with Thea, with the Flyers, with the Flyers, right? And the, th the thing with the Flyers, right? And the reason why I chose, as of right now, um, I chose to have, like, a Flyer build. Because, for example, right, in these final fights, there's a lot of choke points and... And coming up the gut here and getting smacked by all this AOE, right? But when you're a flyer, you can kind of stand off to the side here and shoot inward. Especially if you have uh, Thea with a with some with some poison. I love running poison on her. Just fucking throwing in the poison. My la my Lilia is kind of like on the main line, uh, providing that DPS and AOE while she's while she's on the side, just throwing continuous poison in, right? And if someone targets her, I'm out of there, right? Um, Sometimes it can be a little bit hard to micromanage that when you have like a Lilia kind of like around the ramp trying to gain ground here and you got Thea on the side. Sometimes it could be a little hard, right? So there is times where I kind of just wait to just use uh, Thea on her own. Depending on what's going on in the field, right? There's a lot of things going on. Like if it's a tough opponent, like let's just say we're playing against the top alliance, then yeah, like I'm a I'm going to use my marches a little wiser, right? I'm not going to just drain the tank in one in one push, right? Unless we're like, all right, guys, they're looking slim. This this tower's almost down. Give it everything you got, right? Boom! You send all your marches in to you know get the get that accomplished. Um, so we'll send we'll send Thea back. Like I said, I'm I'm, I'm a main celestial player. Um, if you look at my legions for for uh, for the for the flyers, I have 1.1 million. So like, it's my time for this account, guys. It's my time for this account. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you'll see here, look at my stars. I'm ready, guys. I'm ready to six star the new mages. Like, I am a mage, a mage main. I am going through a little bit of a, an identity crisis right now, guys. I'm for sure going through a little bit of an identity crisis in terms of, like, these new tanks are so good, bro. They're so good. But I, I still feel like when it comes to archers and tanks, um... There is some players that are like 60 to 80 mil that are main archers that, you know, they, they put in work, right? They, they they know they know what they're doing. They know how to move around well. Um, I don't think I'm there yet with my archer skills. Like, you know, I do my I do my work, right? I do my work. Like, how many kills do I have with her? 65 million PvP kills. Hosk definitely has more because Hosk, Hosk, guys, 105 million PvP kills. Don't sleep on Hosk either, right? We're not really going to go too far into that. I'll probably have a video of that on its own. But, uh, yeah, make sure you guys start getting that day already, guys. She has to start getting, like, beefed up. She's a beast, right? Um, let's look at this here. One second. Uh, okay, so look at this. New mages. Guess the names of the new heroes. Uh... I'm not really gonna I'm not gonna really break my freaking dome piece trying to think of the of the name But let me know in the comments below guys. What do you guys think the new heroes are? 
I think I think someone said Tohar for this one. I think someone said Tohar, and uh, well, let me see. What was the other one? Tohar. Uh, one second. Tohar. And let me see if I find it here. Do do do. I forget where it's at, but it's so hard, and I forget what the second one. But I mean, what the hell, guys? Like, on, like, like, can this guy even fly on this like little sorcery stick? Like, is he gonna be hovering like a like a witch, bro? You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of what the vibe that it's giving us, and like. This guy kind of looks like a pirate. I'm not going to lie. I'm not too excited for the aesthetics of these heroes. Um, I'm not I'm not too excited for the aesthetics of these heroes. I'm not going to lie, guys. I am not going to lie. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so, yeah, make sure that you have your, like, your day already. Make sure you have your, you're already starting to save up your heads, right? You're saving up your stars. Um, that's pretty much how we're going to be, that's how, how we're going to be ready um i'm excited guys i don't know about you guys i am super excited i am super excited and once again i cannot stress this out enough guys make sure your thea is good if you've been sleeping on her since the new mage coming out is a flyer like don't sleep on that build right don't sleep on that build uh make sure that you get those going or who knows, right? Maybe, maybe it's something similar to the Fragar Syndrion. Like they just the both of those heroes just have crazy synergy together that they have to go together, and you know they end up just being ground troops, like two ground troops and Thea and Atheas are still a thing. I don't know, right? I don't know. Um, I'm super excited. I, I I like I can't even begin to explain to you guys how excited I am. I mean. Main mages have been stuck with... I wouldn't even say stuck because they're amazing heroes. Lily and Valen and Thea. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, you guys saw the you guys saw the kills there. You guys saw the kills for for the Atheist build. Um, you guys will see here. Like, this is this is the build that I have for, for uh, my Valen. Once again, guys, some of you guys are probably like, what? Like people don't run like i haven't seen people run this stuff but i mean you guys see my kills right i'm def i'm definitely like the top 30 35 kill killers in the game you know what i mean like i i definitely know what i'm talking telling you guys based off my experience like i mean look at my valen 175 million pvp kills like i'm definitely up there in terms of like main mage uh players um this is a build that i have and it's a this build is a menace guys this build is a menace. Look how much march speed, bro. I think when you add up all these, like, all the march speed that I have, it's like 45% march speed. So the thing with mages, guys, don't, it's not to sit there and just tank stuff, right? I play a really ratty style. Poke and go, poke and go, poke and go. Like, if it's a, if it's like a weak player and I'm getting like one for three, one for four trades on him, I'll take the 1v1, right? But if I'm getting targeted by multiple players, that Valen is just, the Valen just moves, right? Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Even my Lilia, even my Lilia build, you guys saw my, you guys saw my video for the Lilia build. Um, I'll probably drop that at the end here to kind of like show you guys. But just look at, look at how fast my Val my Valen is. And I, I, I run Valen and Waldir, guys. I run Valen and Waldir. I run Lilia and Hosk. Oh yeah, that's the next thing I'm gonna talk about, like the pairings and stuff that I currently run. Uh, just quickly, no, nothing crazy, right? We'll kind of do this. So look at this. Look how fast this build is. I mean, it might not seem fast, but I'm telling you, it is quick, bro. It is actually, it's actually fast. So it's like, boom, you move in, you hit, you hit, you back up, Whoop. and everyone else on the line is gonna be so much slower than you. And they and the enemy is gonna see that and they'll target off of you. So I plan on doing the same builds like that for the new mages, kind of like a very speedy build. Unless, unless, imagine they're counter attack mages. Oh, dude, I'm so freaking excited, man. I'm so freaking excited. I think we're gonna have like, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna have like 500 heads, bro. Oh, wrong one. 
I think we're going to have like 500 heads. We're at 492, so we'll have like 500. We'll have about 500 ready to go. Um, oh, yeah. So um, so my main mage uh, setup that I got, I got Lilia Hosk, Valen, and uh, Waldir. Sometimes I put Waldir in the front. Sometimes, not all the time. And then Thea and Atheist. And then when, when they start running out of stamina, guys... I start putting in, uh, I mean, you guys saw my video on Indus, right? I put in Indus right here. So that's kind of like the, the setup that I have right now. Um, with the new mages coming in, um, we're probably still looking at a Lilia Valen build, right? We're probably, and to be honest, guys, I mean, call me crazy, right? It depends. If we're going to all-out flyer build, right, if it's just a cracked flyer build, then we'll just do Thea and the new and the new hero, right? We'll do Thea and the new hero and kind of just let them be their own thing, right? Because you start running into some stamina issues, guys, that you kind of got to like spread load your troops around. Um yeah, it could just it could it could be that it's Lilia Valen, Thea, Atheist, and then the two heroes together because as we have seen, guys, if they continue this trend, both commanders that come out have synergy together. They have crazy synergy together. Like, they're made to be together. You know what I'm saying? Like, they actually set it up that way. Unless they're like, you know what? The mages need to have, like, a good uh, two legendary flyer build. Like, this one's going to be for Thea. Because if you think about it, guys, Thea is an overall hero, right? It's not even a mage hero. So, it could very likely be that the new commanders are just meant to be together. Um, obviously, when they come out, we're going to do a lot of testing on them. Um, bring like do like you know do some good testing like right for example even though I have a bunch of heads I like I'll still set it up to where it's like a a five five build or a five five one one build or we'll see we'll see we'll see how we do it guys we'll see how we do it. ultimately they're not they're I'll, I'll test them up against awaken Valen and Walt uh, Valen and uh Th Lily or whatever um but yeah guys that's gonna be it for this video uh, make sure you're staying up to date with that. Don't sleep on Thea, guys. That's like my, my you know, we're talk, definitely talking a little bit about the new ones, but it's, the, this video is mainly on, on the crazy Thea build to make sure that she's ready to go. And you guys see that she is very effective. Um, don't sleep on her. Like, you guys saw the build I have on her, too. So if you want to start already prepping for her. Oh, th actually, with that being said, I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm talking like if... Uh, majority of the audience is going to have the new mages, right? Off the rip. That's going to depend on the seasons, right? So if you're in the previous seasons or even a season one player and you're a main mage, you're like, oh shit. Okay, I have Lilia done because I bought her in the VIP. I did my Valen, right? Because, you know, Lilia Valen, they're just bread and butter. They're like, just like, you know, they just go together. Next, work on your Thea, guys. She is good. I know what I'm telling you guys. But you need to play smart with her and you need to have an Infernal Flame on her. Uh, an Inferno Flame on her. Um, actually, she kind of works really well with all of them, right? Believe it or not, guys, Tear of Arbon is freaking cracked for her. Especially when you got the plus 5% and negative 5%. It really works well, guys. When you're playing really ratty. Someone confirm if you know, please let me know in the comments if you're like, yeah, that's what it is I wonder if the defensive stat is what helps the most against the counterattack damage that you're taking when you're hitting right or the fact that you're healing all the time um, And you're dropping heals on your line like it, it's a it's such a good artifact But you know Phoenix eye is definitely one of my favorite ones to run on her also, Infernal Flame is one of my favorite. Like, just they're just really good. I even, I mean, you guys heard me. Breath of Gargantus is really good. Um, I don't know. I, I want to say Breath of Gargantus is probably my favorite one, considering that the Flyers are more kind of like a supportive role-ish. But, you I mean, you guys saw my kills, right? Definitely could do that. So, don't sleep on that. Uh, Thea build, especially for you guys in earlier seasons. That way, by the time that you get to Season 3, um... Or actually, you know what? I think they might still be season two heroes, right? Because they're technically G two heroes. Depending on the, when you watch this video, is going to determine that, right? But based off what I'm seeing, they're G two heroes, so they're probably going to be like a season two thing. Oh shit! I'm in Discord. Who goes there? Oh yeah.
Discord. Yeah, what's up, bro? Mid video, my boy Rowdy was good. Hold me though, I'm getting ready to finish this video though. I'll be right back in here. Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, I'm leaving. No, you're good. You're good. Okay. That's my that's my boy Rowdy right there, guys. Rowdy's a beast. Rowdy's a beast. I de I'm definitely looking forward to like making some like kind of like podcast style. I know like there's been a few content creators that have already done that, but kind of be a little bit more consistent where people just talk about like their experiences in the games, what they like, what they don't like, all that, right? But um yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think the names are. Let me know in the comment section if you know for sure that it's the defensive stat that helps against counter. Is it defense that's better? Is it HP that's better? Um, let me know what you guys think with that. Uh, if you have any questions on my build, let me know. I mean, I kind of quickly explained it. Um, um, if you have the scoop on the new commanders, let me know. I mean, if you have the scoop on the new commanders, it's probably confidential and you can't tell me anyways. But yeah, guys, I'm excited, and I hope I hope that you guys are excited as well for these new commanders to come out. Uh, on that note, guys, make sure you got if you like the video, drop a like, uh, drop a co drop a comment on the things that I said, or just say hello, you know, or say what you know, say whatever you want to say in the comment section. Um, I've had some people even try to like not like a full blown this, but I mean. I've been doing content creating for a long time, bro. Bring it on, right? Anyways, oh, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. All right, keep it chill, though. Keep it chill. Um, and, yeah, if you guys want to support the channel, make sure you guys drop a sub. I'm also live on twitch.tv, YT Guns Cod. I'll drop that link in the description. Uh, I also have a community Discord. There's over 500 players on there. You got a lot of players in there from TFS. There's some players from GG83. Um, yeah, uh, we're looking to do some more stuff with the Discord, so I'll, I'll drop all those links in the description. Um, that's it, guys. Your boy Guns here, guys, and let's be ready for these new mages. I'm outie.